Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a quick tutorial. I know I have been getting a couple of requests for for how to uh, look for items on Google such as borders or just um, pictures of characters and how I bring them down to my silhouette in order to trace them. So today I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. The first thing we're going to do is go to our Google. Now today will be a, a simple one. It would be for new silhouette users. Something simple. I'll try to do an advanced one later on. So for today, let's go ahead and do something simple. How about uh, a recent video that I have recently done is on Goofy. So let's see what pops up for him. And it's easier to trace items on the old style clip, clip art instead of the newer ones. Um, as an example, this one right here. Uh, this will be really hard to trace. Actually, I wouldn't even give it a try. I recently did one uh, where I used this one, this one. And... Um, they were quite easy. So let's go ahead and give this one a try. I'll go ahead and copy image. Then I'll bring up my silhouette. Okay, and I have the Designer Plus Edition. I'll go ahead and paste my image. Just make it a little bit larger. Let me go ahead and bring the side of my bar on over here. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the trace selection. I'll click the trace and actually trace my image. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so I could see how everything looks. I think it looks great. I'm going to go ahead and trace it. Here we go. And I usually like to duplicate it in case I mess up. <laughs> I could go back. Um, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and click on release compound path. I will go ahead and highlight everything in black. That has helped me before. I know everybody's different, but I would suggest doing that. Um, once you start doing this, you'll see why. So I'll start coloring my pieces just as I see here. Obviously, when you do actually cut it, uh, you would be able to pick the color cardstock. This just makes it a little bit easier. So Goofy's hat is green. His shirt... We'll color it orange. Now, this is not something... It takes patience to do this. I know when I started, I wanted something quick. And when I realized... Um, exactly what it takes to do this I realized that whoa <laughs> you need a lot of patience and if you feel you you don't want to do this uh, maybe give it a try in a couple of months that's what I did um, I gave it a try in a couple of months and I realized you know I really like this and I will continue doing this um, it's not hard at all once you've got the hang of things. Okay. So I see here I pretty much have everything. Now lo let's go ahead and get uh, separate a couple of items. You see this part right here? That should be a gap um, in between his arm and his body. So let's go ahead and make that. 
the thing. So I went ahead and highlighted this part in this area. And now I'm going to click on Make Compound Path. Now his body, I'll go ahead and send it to the back. And here you could either send it to the front or the back. And there you see. Um, now we have that, the same thing as over here. Now these little extras, I'll go ahead and erase them in a bit, no worries. And now the next part, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Looks like this little part needs to be the color of his skin, just like here. These parts, I'll go ahead and delete them. They don't really make a difference. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and remove his eyes and his body. Now for here, I'm going to go ahead and select all this and I'll right click it and click on make compound path. So you will see now um, it'll be see through. So when I bring back his shadow, oops, wrong one. When I bring back the back layer, uh, you get to see his nose just like he has it here. So let's go ahead and bring back his eyes. His arms. I'm sorry, his hands. Well, actually, let me go ahead and remove this part here. Okay, and I actually didn't need my extra ones, so I'll go ahead and delete that. And now, as soon as I'm done, I go ahead and highlight everything and group it together. Just because you're probably going to be moving it around and you don't want little pieces to get lost. Which can happen And after you've cut up all your pieces, you're left wondering what is missing. And it's a little bit frustrating when you have to recut items. But let me go ahead and zoom in. There you have it. This is our Google image that we found and we traced. So afterwards, you go ahead and um, ungroup it. When you're going to go ahead and cut, you're going to go to um, the page setup. You're going to go to this item right here and remove these marks. You're going to click on off because otherwise it thinks you're doing a printing cut, which we're actually doing, um, we're just cutting. So you're going to place all your green items up here. You'll place your, your black items on the side. It just depends how you cut your cardstock. I usually have like little pieces and I'm able to uh, cut a couple at a time. You'll group your oranges down here, your pink over here, you cut it and then you move it to the side and then your your wide um, layers would, the same thing, you'll go ahead and bring them up here, the same thing with his face. And there you have it, this is a, just a quick tutorial on how I take images from Google trace them in order to um, use them for my layouts. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now.